What happened? Well, I was moving along okay. I was on a pretty good run. I just made some changes to the boat and um, about halfway down down the track, the boat started veering to the left. Um, I tried to correct it with a bit of steering. It just didn't happen and eventually the boat totally went on full rudder and uh, put me up the bank at a pretty good, pretty high speed. So, yeah, pretty lucky and um, nothing that a pair of underwear wouldn't fix. and. Um, yeah, a little bit of work under the boat to tidy it all up, so pretty lucky, pretty good. So what do you think happened? <coughs> I know what happened, a uh, uh, steering coupling broke on the actual steering, so it was 100% steering failure. So, yeah. so is there something you can do to stop that happening again, like it was something well, that... Well I thought I had done that, I had put good quality parts in there, but um, I might be upgrading them to make sure that they're a bit bigger and a bit safer for next time. So is that the, the the biggest crash you've had in the in the boat? That's or? the biggest crash. It's a crash. Yeah, it's my first season in the boat, and um, yeah, that's my only incident that I've had. So what's going through your mind as you're heading towards the the bank at about you know well, 75 miles an hour? I would have loved a brake pedal, but uh, in a boat you haven't got one, so was just hang on and, and brace for the ride. Luckily, it was a pretty soft soft impact with the bank. So pretty good, pretty good result overall. So no, uh, you have no injuries at all? No injuries whatsoever. So, yeah. Pretty lucky that's the main thing. Everyone goes home tonight safe and, and sound. So very pleased. I suppose the other good thing about it is there were no spectators or anything down there as well. I mean, that would be the, the, the scariest end, thing. that end of the track, yeah. It, it, uh, it can be dangerous for spectators close to the bank and we realise that now.